as a movie buff and person who dabbles in screenwriting, I have become aware of techniques used by Hollywood screenwriters to engage their audiences. One such technique is called The Gap. A professor at Carnegie Mellon University came up with the concept of the information gap theory of curiosity. Lowenstein says this curiosity gap is an innate human behavior that's triggered when people feel there is a gap between what they know and what they want to know. There are different versions of the information gap. Gap is really nothing new. Screenwriters use a version of the gap. Let's take a scene and see if you can spot the gap. A man and woman are having breakfast. Each of their plates has a piece of toast on it. The woman takes off her wedding ring, fondles it a moment, and then gently places it on her piece of toast. She looks at the man and frowns. Do you see the gap? It's when she removes the ring and fondles it. It's the moment where we're not sure what's going to happen next. Screenwriters have three choices in the gap. Give us the expected, the gap is too narrow. Give us the implausible, the gap is too wide. Or give us the plausibly unexpected, the gap is just right. The expected would be for the woman to either put the ring back on or put it down on the table. We've seen this before, and frankly, it's boring. This is paint by numbers soap opera writing. The implausible would be for a monkey to fly out of the ceiling and start singing opera while juggling bananas. There's no context for this to happen, so this might cause the audience to disengage. This technique, however, can work quite well in movies like Airplane or Monty Python's The Holy Grail. The plausibly unexpected choice would be for something such as the following to happen. The screenwriter has prefaced the scene with the fact that a very bright light is coming through the window. As the woman puts her ring on her piece of toast, the man takes off his ring and places it on his piece of toast. We now cut to a fireball in the sky. A comet is hurling toward earth. We cut back to the man and woman. They kiss, hold hands, and just as the screen whites out and the comet hits, they're transported to safety through wormholes in their respective pieces of toast. This is the aha moment in movies when all the pieces come together. By using the plausibly unexpected choice to fill the gap, the screenwriter has pulled the audience into her web. Just as important, the screenwriter has shattered the audience's expectations of what's coming next. If you can keep creating these plausible but unexpected gaps throughout your movie, you can hook your audience and keep surprising them. In Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey, the opening scene shows the sun rising over the moon as seen from Earth. It's the dawn of a new age. The gap will soon be filled. Quite literally, a monolith has been discovered on the moon. It's the proof that we're not alone. The monolith is plugging the gap between mankind and a superior intelligence. Kubrick uses the gap throughout the movie. How man's feeble attempt to create a higher intelligence short circuits and leaves Dave in the gap of deep space. Dave somehow continues on his odyssey and keeps trying to fill in all the gaps. And gaps can build and become even more plausibly unexpected. Think about Star Wars. I'm your father, Luke. Now that's using the plausible but unexpected to fill a very big gap. For us, as communicators, the gap could be getting up in front of 30 people to do a presentation. It could be the turn of a page or the click of a mouse. It's that moment when the audience is unsure what's coming next. Our job is to guide them and spark their natural curiosity. Remember, you have three choices when you get to the gap. A narrow gap. Too much information. Audience is bored. Wide gap. Not enough information. Audience disengages. Just right gap. You hook the audience. I've included some general guidelines on using the gap. I won't go into them now because I feel we're at a transition, a gap. We have three choices. Continue the presentation, 
the gap is too narrow. Go get in my spaceship and join Dave on his odyssey. The gap is too wide. Or a third choice, which you might ha not have anticipated, but was foreshadowed. I'm going to go make some toast. And that should be your aha moment. How's that for filling the gap with something that is plausible but unexpected? Good luck with your gap.